Before we start cutting in our base bevels, we want to make sure and ch check the consistency of the flatness of the ski with our Prisma straight edge. To control these base bevels as far as cutting and establishing a nice consistent base bevel, we want to make sure and uh, use a multi-file control guide that goes from 0.5 to 1.5 degree base bevel, as well as the precision base file controls, uh, which do the same thing and get you to the same type of angles. Using a fresh, sharp World Cup chromium dip ski file will help allow to establish these base bevels nice and precisely, but it also leaves nice clean cuts. When establishing these base bevels, it's, it's good to get up in the non-contact point to start the consistency of our base bevels. And as you're cutting, you want to work your way down, keeping your eye on the work, seeing where the file is cutting and where it's not, looking for that nice, consistent cut across the width of the edge, and start working your way down the ski. You'll feel the file stop cutting in the area, and that's a good reference that that base bevel is established in that area and working your way down the ski. And I like to take shorter strokes um, just to add to the precisionness in the cuts and I like to follow up with a longer stroke to tie in those lap marks that that harsh uh, file, uh, that harsh surface texture that the file leaves in that steel. and. Uh, as you feel the file starting to slide and not cut anymore, that pretty much is our reference telling us that those base bevels are established. And then I like to finish up with one stroke. Yet again, tying up those lap marks and getting that surface texture up to a nice finished polish. After our bottom base bevels are established, and uh, you can imagine that that file is leaving not lots of nooks and crannies in that surface texture, we're going to wait until we get that side edge angle established where it tends to lap over into the base. And, and, and when that ski is on edge, we're going to go back and polish the base, the base bevel and the base edge at the same time as we're doing the side edges.